But guys, the afro, I'm so proud of her. She's looking cute and ready for the night. Yo, I, when I tell you that my driving is problematic, it's problematic when I am tired. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diane, welcome to Kiana Diane. In today's video, I have a vlog for you guys. I'm on call. New department, new year, new vibes. I am now rotating in the emergency department, family medicine, but um, we do our calls for the whole of this year in the emergency department. I'll take you guys with me. I'll show you as much as I can. I also wanna make a TikTok out of this. That is the aim. The vibes today. I'm starting this vlog at home because it is half past three. It's actually 25 minutes past three. I wanted to leave in 10 minutes, but I was like, I have to start off the vlog. I can't leave y'all hanging. So this is me starting the vlog super late. I have had a pre-call the whole day. I think that's something that's so cool is that even though I do all my calls the whole year in the emergency department, I during the day, I work also in the emergency department. So what do they do? What do they do? We get a pre-call. So, which means the whole day I'm at home, I'm chilling, I'm vibing, and then I just go to work to start my shift at four o'clock. Totally unknown. This has never happened to me my whole entire medical doctor career. So I am very grateful for it. Could have taken you along with what I did today, but it was boring. I literally just stayed at home. Now I need to go and prep my fit for work. I'm also having a smoothie before I go in. Because I intermittent fast, it's very complicated with when I'm on call and I'll talk about that much later when I get a chance to eat but I'm doing a smoothie it's heavy it stays in my stomach for a long time that's what I'm doing now and we'll see how it goes and let me pack my lunch box my cooler bag show you guys what I'm packing I pack like a sensible person this year being that because I intermittent fast I'm not eating as much as I used to eat even when I can eat number one number two because there's no time to eat when you're in the emergency room. That girl, she never sleeps. So we always working. And yeah, you, know, you sneak in a few bites here and there snack wise. But yeah, you'll just you'll hear my thoughts and everything. This is my last call for the month of January. I'm on leave soon. Hip hip hooray. But yeah, let me stop rambling. Let me do the whole outfit thing. Let us leave. Let us go work. <laughs> Okay, so this is all that I pack. It, it's actually, it looks like a lot, but it's actually not a lot. So let's start first with the juice. I always just take whatever juice that's already packed, that's already open in my fridge. I take it with me. I decided to like things, and I bought a grapefruit juice the last time I went shopping for groceries. It's not that bad. I actually like it. I made a bacon stir fry. Tastes good. So that will be my dinner. Snacks. We got mini cheddars, morning biscuits. Also, I have the big bad boys in case the call is hectic. I have a Red Bull energy drink, a Lucasade. I love this purple one. Love it for the aesthetics, love it for the color. And also, yeah, Lucasade is cute. I couldn't find Powerade at Checkers. There was only the zero sugar one, and I'm like, I'm not about that. I also forgot to add, stay hydrated. We got our water. I also carry some water in the car. So if this one gets finished, we have some more. And please do like, comment, and subscribe. I always say that, but I genuinely, I'm genuinely so grateful for all the views I get. Genuinely grateful for all the likes I get. But every time I see a comment, it honestly just warms my heart so much. Like my love language is words of affirmation. So to actually see commentary there is beautiful. It just warms my heart. So yes, please do appeal to my love language and leave a comment down below. good energy that we have going on going into this call and 
I, I hope and I wish for the best. Also, something that I do before my calls is brush my teeth. It's something I didn't do before. And then I started realizing that, Diane, you are literally going to be talking to people tomorrow morning and your breath is going to stink because unlike everybody else who has showered and everything, you have not left the hospital to do that. So yes, you haven't showered, but let's not jump beside that you didn't shower. So what I do now, I have deodorant in the car that stays in the car for this and also some spray and also now I'm just going to brush my teeth. I also want to add Listerine to my car essentials and because of my core life. Actually, that is another video I think I should make. I should show you guys my car essentials because car essentials are different from each person. But I saw on Instagram another creator's car essentials and I was like, damn, this is actually quite interesting. You and me. That was an ugly smile, more like, oh, the guys, the afro, I'm so proud of her. She's looking cute and I'm ready for the night. Let's go to work. Something I always do before going to work is pick a song to listen to because guys that work environment work is ghetto might as well rock as we're going to work i'm going to try to do this whole shot type of taking thing so that y'all can see how i rock i'm running late guys but i'm still trying to get y'all the content hey right? okay let's do this thing of driving and creating content We walk. Whoa, I was chasing my glory, then fell asleep. Woke me up and told me to go feed the sheep. Oh, I signed. It's the next day. I don't even know what to say. Um, but I completed the call. I mean to explain a lot of things. Number one, I'm in a different outfit because now that i'm working in the emergency department we split our times for resting after midnight so we each get four hours just me and another girl on call so she took the first shift i took the second shift and because i live 10 minutes from the hospital i decided to come home to sleep instead of sleeping in my car and yeah why there's no footage on the vlog about my time in the emergency department i just realized i can't vlog that <laughs> It's too busy. There's too much anxiety in me. It's not as slow as all the other calls with the other blocks. But with emergency department, you're here, you're there, you're there, you're there. I can't even get footage of myself speaking to the camera when I'm alone. Our casualty is quite small. So it is what it is. The call was, it was, it was hectic until I'd say about 11. One thing was that time was passing so slowly. I honestly hated it. I was like, I'm trying to leave. Why is time being like this? Today, I am post-call. Let me see if I can make a vlog out of this. I know I'm fetching my sister from the bus stop. I don't know if she wants to be part of the vlog. And then I need to also get a few other things. And we'll just, we'll make this a on-call, post-call with me. Because I don't have a lot of footage about my call and yeah i'm in different clothes because I, because i slept at home let me shower and look like a normal person before i go leave my house so yes now i'm going to sleep i am going to rest and then when two o'clock comes actually half past one i'll leave for midran to go collect my sister and then we'll take the day from there thank you for rocking with me see you on the flip side welcome again welcome back to my vlog which is continuing i it is now the afternoon we are alive we are still standing post call blessings only to god all right now i am at midland i'm waiting for my little sister i'm fetching her she's going to stay by me for two minutes and then fly off to university so sad <laughs> What I wanted to share, guys, is how, yo, 
honestly when i'm post call or when i'm tired i should not be driving guys can i please tell you how i was driving man nah. so i was out here switching lanes which is not a bad thing okay we all switch lanes but this one time i switched lanes and it was actually quite problematic because i indicated that i was going to this lane sharp no cars on it so now as i'm switching into this lane i could see that there was a slow 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 truck you know so the van that was in front of me sh blocked the way and i couldn't necessarily see what was in front of the you know and you can't see what's in front of the other car and you also can't see what's in the other lane so you just take a chance so i indicated i'm like midway turning into the other lane i see this slow ass truck and i'm in the middle i'm now driving in between these two lanes and then I put my indicator on and I whoop back into the lane that I was in because I was just like dying, just be patient. This is something that you can't fight. This is something that you just gonna have to deal with. Yo, I, when I tell you that my driving is problematic, it's problematic when I am tired. It's not something to be proud of, it's something to work on. And by working on, I mean getting to that point in life when I where I have a chauffeur. Because I can't, I can't do this. But I have snacks to keep myself company. Let me show you my snacks. I packed a yogurt. Also have some pineapple. I have some good morning biscuits. Mini cheddars. So I called my sister now. And she said that they're only in Pretoria now. So I guess it's about another 30 minutes of waiting before she's here. Ay ay ay. I could have been at home and only leaving now. But alas. Ay, my efforts will count for something. I believe it.